Hello and welcome to our weekly roundup. It's been another action-packed week at CCA and we're going to kick off with our Year 6 History Transition event. It was brilliant to see so many primary school students at CCA engaging in the lessons and learning that our students have every day and it was really brilliant to see um, the learning and the progress that they made. So lovely to see you. On top of that, those students will be joining us in Year 7 and students in Year 6 would have got their Choices for high school next year and I'm delighted to say that our year seven numbers are full yet again in year seven So that's absolutely brilliant news and a real credit to the success that's taking place at CCA We've also had World Book Day this year So students and staff have been dressed up um, as their favorite book character and you'll see some of those pictures now But a massive thank you to Mr. Wiley and to the English team for all their hard work and their amazing fancy dress costumes this week's assembly has had a key theme around it's not okay. And we've been focusing on diversity, inclusivity, and the three key focuses for students around be ready, be respectful, and be responsible. And it's been brilliant to be able to engage in discussions and conversations with students. I've met many students this week to talk about their well-being and what life is like for them at CCA. And it's been fantastic to hear the positive messages. It's been also fantastic to have the opportunity to talk through with students how we can make um, their experience at CCA even better. So thank you to those students for all the support. And the message is absolutely key that we are an inclusive and diverse population. And we want that diversity to permeate through all aspects of student life. We want students to be happy, safe, and successful and it's been brilliant to share that with students in our assembly this week. Looking ahead to our calendar events we have our year 12 parents evening this Thursday on the 10th of March we then on our on the 17th of March have our year 9 options evening this is for our students in year 9 taking their GCC choices this is going to be an event in person it's going to be a market stalls event where you'll get the opportunity to talk to the teachers talk to the tutors talk to our careers teams look at our post 16 opportunities and to have a real discussion around how will the GCSE choices you make lead you to your career aspirations. So looking forward to seeing you in person on the 17th of March. And now to our shout out, firstly from Miss Kagang, who says, can you please congratulate the following students for their great participation in the lesson today? So that's for, uh, for Grace, Shardy, Charlotte, Harry, Tommy, Talia and Terry. So absolutely well done to you. And then for Mrs French, a shout out for Frankie Lee Wharton and Harry Smith for their volunteering, their great reading to the class, and to Logan and Summer for their fantastic work in the lesson. So well done to all of you. And then Miss Alisi, uh, well done to Ava Hardiman and Willow Cowdery for their hard work, positive contribution and conduct, and readiness to learn throughout this whole term. So well done to you. 7X3 English, so Jersey Woodcraft for excellent lesson, completed all the work, amazing behaviour, absolutely well done. To Sam Cockley for really getting involved, good work, good contribution, strong answers in the lesson. To Reuben Rogers for always working hard and consistently well in lessons. And then for Miss Cooper who attended the after school dance club uh, and she just wanted to say what a pleasure it was to go to the dance club on Tuesday to see all the students from different year groups engaging, working together and their performance was brilliant. So what a great bunch of students. And then from the dance company themselves, who are a group of practitioners who come in to work with the students on their technical and performance skills, and they were saying how brilliant the students are doing, what a fantastic group of students they are, the way they work together. So they're working towards their Bronze Arts Award. Um, we're really proud of them, and it's brilliant to see students engage with extracurricular and after-school clubs. So well done to all of you. I think it's important as we come to the end of this week's roundup that we take the time to reflect on what's been in the news constantly over the past seven days. None of us can fail to be affected by the return of conflict to Europe once again. It only serves to highlight the fragility and the great privilege of peace. There will be many people in our CCA community who have been personally affected by the crisis in Ukraine. It is vitally important that we speak openly to our children about what is happening in Ukraine and in Russia and the significance of the past, the present and the future. We'll be taking the opportunity in period six today and next week to talk openly to the children at CCA about what is happening in Ukraine and in Russia and how we can reassure students who have lived through some significant challenges over the past two years. We want them to be happy and safe and to do well and it's really important 
that we have these discussions with our students. So please carry on these discussions at home. Please stay safe and I look forward to seeing you next week.